Hey guys, it is Tyler here once again with another Assassin's Creed video. Now today, it's a topical video and we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Rogue and why you should not buy the game. Now, I'm going to say this, I will not be buying Assassin's Creed Rogue, you will not find me playing it. It will take a lot to convince me to play the game. Maybe I'll get it eventually later on down the track when it's 20 bucks, when it's really cheap. But they're going to have to do a lot to convince me to even consider playing it because there's a lot I don't like about it already. And all they've shown us is one trailer and a couple demos. Now, if you want to, let me just start off by saying this. If you're excited for Assassin's Creed Rogue, if you want to buy the game, go for your life. There's no reason you shouldn't go out yourself and just go by your own opinion and get the game. If you think it looks awesome, if you think the story would be good, go for your life. Nothing to do with me, no skin off my back. But if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed and you're not sure about buying it, or you don't want to buy Rogue, and you're sitting here thinking, but I want to get every game in the franchise, I don't want to be left out of anything, I just want to play everything Assassin's Creed has to offer, I understand that, but you've really got to think about why would you be buying something like Assassin's Creed Rogue. Now, lots of you know, and I've talked about this when I analyzed the Assassin's Creed Rogue demos, the game looks identical to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It looks like a reskinned, repackaged of the same game, and I understand that you can't do much with the old gen consoles with the 360 or PS3, but then why bother making the game? Whoever made the decision to have this developed, to keep it identical, to keep it exactly the same, pretty much as Assassin's Creed 4, with just weapons and stuff that look a little different, but do the same exact stuff we had with other weapons, like in the naval, or with just the normal land gameplay in Assassin's Creed 4. There's no real point to making the game. Whoever made that decision seriously needs to take a look at themselves and those high execs should be fired. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Looking at that game, and I'm not usually a negative person, especially about Assassin's Creed, but there's a lot of stuff that I haven't been happy with over the years with Assassin's Creed, and this is probably the number one thing I've been pretty pissed off about is Assassin's Creed Rogue seeing them reskin what I've already paid a lot of money for last year when it came to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I don't want to have to pay full price for a brand new game that's exactly the same. It's insulting our intelligence, it's insulting us as Assassin's Creed fans. And for those of you who are like, well, I don't want to be left out of the Assassin's Creed universe, I don't want to be left out of the game and this next chapter in the storyline, well, giving them money isn't going to teach them anything. You complaining about it, me sitting here just complaining about it, does nothing to change Ubisoft's mind, does nothing to change anything you do. The best way to tell Ubisoft your game sucks is to not buy the game. Not give them any money, not buy DLC, not do that. That is the only way you're going to tell them, look, your game sucks, try harder, do better. Or just make one game. We don't need two fully fleshed out console games when one's going to be terrible and one may be good, Unity looks good, but Rogue, I'm embarrassed when I first saw the demo to be honest, I was embarrassed for the company and I was embarrassed for us as fans to be watching something that's just like, do they seriously think we're going to be buying this, really? They seriously think we're going to be buying this game that looks like exactly the same as Black Flag, and if you haven't played Black Flag, then buy Rogue if you want, if you seriously want to, if you're like, well I bought Black Flag, if I have to toss up one, I mean, I like Black Flag. I recommend go buy Black Flag. There's no reason to go buy Rogue instead. May as well buy Black Flag. At least you know that's good. You don't know if Rogue's even got a good story or not. Or a good main character. So, there's a lot to gamble there. And I'm not here insulting the Ubisoft team. I mean, the team, I'm sure, has worked hard and done the best they can with what they were given. It's the people higher up that are making these big executive decisions saying this is how it's going to run, we should still make a game on the old generation consoles, we should still do this, we should still do that, and we'll just reskin Black Flag and resell it and make a bunch of money, and to them I say fuck you, because honestly, I'm not going to buy a game, I'm not, I'm not going to give you the money, I'm going to buy Unity, because it looks like you've worked very hard and it looks like the team has been given a lot more time a lot more resources to make a really fully fleshed out game and I've defended Ubisoft for years when people have said it's just like Call of Duty, they're just throwing out one every year just for the money I've said no, 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 they've got huge amounts of teams working a lot of years and a lot of time putting a lot of effort into these games and they've proven 
most of the time, for the most part, that they can do it once a year very well and it's not going to be exactly the same every year. But then they've decided to put two fully fleshed out games in one year and I'm like, okay, you may be pushing yourselves here, you may be stretching yourselves and then they showed the demo of Rogue and I'm like, look, I can't defend you. I cannot defend you for making this decision. It's just, it's not a good idea. So, let me know what you think of this rant. Honestly, I've got really nothing nice to say about Rogue. I'm not going to buy Rogue. I may watch a walkthrough to see if the story's any good at all. If it is, I may consider buying it when it's really cheap. But, if it's not good, then I'm not going to buy it. And I don't recommend anyone else buy it who's just sitting there like, well, I don't want to be left out of the story. If you don't think the game looks good, don't pay the money to buy the game, because that's all they want. All they want is money for it. They don't care about whether we hate it or not. If they're getting the money, they're going to keep making it. They're going to end up doing two games every year, and maybe even more. Like, who knows? It might get really ridiculous. And look, if you don't have an X-Gen console, and you're like, well, I want to get an Assassin's Creed game, I recommend save up some money, get the next gen console, get Unity. That's all I have to say, really. That's all I'm going to do. But if let me know what you think, whether you think my opinion's dumb and you have a different opinion, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. If you have just some, some other stuff to say, again, let me know. Be sure to tell me what you think of Assassin's Creed Rogue, what you're going to do, whether you're going to buy both, one or the other. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys, for watching, and thanks for listening to this rant, and I'll see you next time.